good day everyone i am ramya assistant professor department of information technology madurai sivahasi nada pioneer meenakshi women's college today i will discuss about the topic is unit 1 computer network module 1 network network is a set of devices interconnection between the two devices in the communication line is called the network so the communication link is mainly used to connection between the two devices a node can be computer printer or any other devices have is capable to sending and receiving a data generated by the nodes on the network so network mainly used to is a sharing so access more information main purpose used to for the network so topics discussed in this section is osa reference model functions of layers so the osa reference models and its functions are discussed in this topics the first one is introduction to osa model osa model is based on the proposal developed by the international standard organization this iso this model is called iso osi open system interconnection reference model it mainly deals with connecting open systems so it's called a osi model so osi model is consists of seven layers and each layer performs a particular network functions osi model was developed by the international organization for standardization iso in 1984 and it is now considered as an architecture model for the inter computer communications so the osi model divided the whole task into seven smaller and manageable task each layer is assigned a particular task so here we have to divide the task means uh, based on the accuracy reliability and efficiency of the process for so each layer is self contained so the task assigned to each layer can be performed independently principles on which osi model was designed a layer should be created where different level of abstraction is needed each layer should perform a defined function the function of each layer to be chosen according to the international standard or protocols the number of layers should be large enough to discrete function should not be put in the same layer and small enough that architecture does not become very complex so we have to separate this each layer in the osi model the protocol specifies the set of rules we have to how to communicate between the sender and receiver the rules are specified by the protocols layered architecture this is the diagrammatic representation of layered architecture well there are seven layers in the architecture first one is physical layer data link layer network layer transport layer session layer presentation layer and application layer these layers this layers are presented the top to bottom and bottom to top approach based on the sender and receiver the sender send the message from top to bottom and the receiver receive the message from bottom to top the messages are passed through the layers and intermediate protocols the information are sent by the sender and is received by the receiver physical layer physical layer is the bottom most layer in the osi model it's responsible for the actual physical connection between the devices such as physical connection may be made by using twisted pack cable it is concerned with transmitting bits over a communication channel so the physical layer is responsible for movements of individual bits from one hook to the next functions of physical layer transforming bits into signals provides synchronization of bits by a clock physical layer manages the way a display that connects to a network media it defines the transmission rate it defines the way in which the devices are connected to the medium it provides physical topologies it can use different techniques of multiplexing physical layer this is a diagrammatic representation of physical layer from sender side and the receiver side from sender side the data link layer physical layers are 
received the informations are stored in big format zeros and ones this bits are transferred through the transmission medium that is twisted pair and any other devices uh, the information bits are transferred to the signals through the transmission media so the another receiver side again receive the bit in signal into bit uh, information received by the receiver data link layer so data link layer it is responsible for no to no delivery of data it receives the data from network layer and creates frames add physical address to these frames and pass them to the physical layer it consists of two layers so logical link layer another one is medium access control the logical link layer it defines the methods and provide the address information for the communication between the two devices in the network we mainly use it to identify the source and destination for for that we have to use the address information so the another one is medium access control establishes and maintains link between communicating devices so maintain the link is mainly used for mac the functions of data link layer framing dll divides the bits received from network layer into frames so frame contains all the address information from travel the source to destination so physical address after creating a frames dll adds physical address of sender and receiver in the header of each frame so you have to identify the sender and receiver uh, specify the physical addressing so the header for each uh, send physical address the header is used to identify the which one data is stored and who is the sender and who is the receiver the next one is flow control dll prevents the fast sender from drowning the slow receiver sender send the data fastly and the receiver receive the data slowly it's called a flow control so the, this is the diagrammatic representation of data link layer so the number of devices are connected through the media or link so 10 is a source address and 87 is the destination address so it is a triangular so data are passed between the source and destination in the data link layer the functions of data link layer error control it provides the mechanism of error control e so it detects and retransmits damaged or lost frames error control means we have to use to the concept of cyclic redundancy check hamming coexistence uh, the errors are presented in uh, data link for single error and bust error these errors are identified and rectified to retransmit the damaged data so next one is access control when a single communication channel is shared multiple devices shared by multiple devices mac layer provides to determine which device to control over the channel that will be lead by the mac layer who access the data uh, who access the data is managed by uh, mac the next one is network layer it is responsible for the source to destination delivery of packet across multiple networks if two systems are attached to different networks with devices like routers the network layer is used thus dll oocs the delivery of the packet between the two systems on same network and the network layer ensures that packet gets a point of origin to its final destination the data is stored in packet format the packet information are passed to the next layer functions of network layer internetworking it provides internetworking logical address so logical addressing means when packet is sent outside the network network layer adds logical address of the sender and the receiver to each packet network address are assigned to local device uh, by network administrator and assigned dynamically by special server called dhcp that is dynamic host configuration protocol it can be mainly used to and uh, used to administrate the what are all the devices connected in the communication services next one is routing so when independent network are connected to create 
inter network several routes are available to send the data from source to destination the network interconnected by the routers and gateways the route the packet to the final destination network layer example this is the diagrammatic representation of network layer so number of devices connected to in this in this structure so intermediate we have to add some ring topology for if the structure to communicate the networks uh, they, uh, the another one is bus so bus and ring topology are used uh, to carry the information uh, through the bus and the data are sent from source to destination the source and destination is specified by the each device transport layer it is responsible for process to process delivery of the entire message tier looks after the delivery of entire message considering all its packets and make sure that all packets are in order on the other hand network layer treat each packet independently at the receiver side tl provides services to the application layer and takes services from network layer at the source side tl receives message from upper layer into uh, packets and reassemble these packets again into message at the destination tl have a transport protocol and another one is user datagram protocol for the connection oriented and connectionless services these are our two services performed in the transport layer transport layer have a connection oriented transmission and connectionless transmission uh, the connection oriented transmission means this type of transmission the receiving device send acknowledgement back to the source after the packet is received it is slowed uh, whenever you have to receive the packet at the time you have to send the acknowledgement to the sender it is a slower method the connectionless transmission means in this type of transmission the receiving device does not send an acknowledgement back to the source uh, it is a faster method functions of transport layer segmentation of message into packet and reassemble of packets into message port addressing so computer runs several process the tl header include a port address with each process so flow control so flow control facility prevents the source from sending data packets faster than destination can handle so next one is error control tl ensures the entire message arrives at the receiving tl without error a transport layer this is the diagrammatic representation of transport layer so is a data are received from the session layer from session layer is the sender side the h4 is a specify the header of the data header uh, and the data contains the message so the data's uh, messages are divided into several segments in the transport layer it will be received from the session layer and it sent back to the receiver side of the transport layer again the transport layer send the segments to session layer the information are processed this way session layer session layer is the fifth layer of the osi model it has the responsibility of beginning maintaining and ending the communication between devices called as session it also provides orderly communication between devices by regulating the flow of data session have to communicate the devices so next one is functions of session layer establishing maintaining and ending a session when you are sending a device first contact with receiving device it sends synchronization packet to establish a connection and determines the order in which the information will be sent receiver send acknowledgement so the session can be set and end so whenever the message is received by the receiver at the time we have to send the acknowledgement uh, uh, the acknowledgement is received by the sender the session is end dialog control uh, this function determines that which device will communicate first and amount of data that will be sent this will be managed by the dialog control dialog separation 
process of adding checkpoints and markers to the stream of data is called dialog separation. Session layer. This is a diagrammatic representation of session layer. The data are received from the sender side for presentation layer. The presentation layer send the data to the uh, session layer. The session layer receive the information and synchronize the data. So again it sent it to the transport layer. So another is a receiver side. The receiver side same way you know, the transport layer send session layer and the session layer send the data to the presentation layer. Presentation layer. Presentation layer is the sixth layer of the OSI model. It is here concerned with syntax and semantics of information. Syntax means rules, set of rules is called a syntax. Semantics means meaning. Meaning of the syntax is called a semantics. So information exchange between the two devices. It was designed for data encryption, decryption and compression. Encryption means the data size, the data file size are reduced, otherwise the hide. The decryption means the original data, the original file format and file size of data is viewed by the source person. And the another one is compression. Compression means you have to hide or reduce the file size in the compression format. Encryption means it's a not the original data it's a hide data so decryption only the code the original data compression techniques are used to uh, information uh, compression technique used the various way to access the data functions of presentation layer data presentation or translation because different computer use different encoding systems it ensures that the data being sent is in the format that recipient can process. Data encryption presentation layer provides this facility by which hides the information from everyone except the person who originally sent the information and the intended recipient who is the sender and who is the receiver is received by the sender uh, arrives at the destination. Data compression PL strings large amount of data into smaller pieces that is, it reduces the size of data. Presentation layer from application layer to application layer, uh, the information is passed from the sender and it is sent back to the receiver side. So, presentation layer, it's application layer send the data to presentation layer, again presentation layer sent to the session layer. The similar way it can be received from the receiver side. Application layer. It is the topmost layer of the seventh layer of the OSI model. It enables the user to access the network. It provides user interface and supports for services such as email, file transfer, access to the world wide web. So email is mainly used to uh, send a message sender and message recipient have to pass through the information or messages. So file transfer will be performed in the world wide web. So it provides services to different user applications. The application side, side we have to use to the various applications in the network for easy to access, easy to transfer and easy to understand the information in an efficient manner. So functions of application layer. So mail service, the, this application provides various mail services, file transfer and access. It allows user to access files in a remote host to retrieve files from remote computer for use etc. Remote login, a user can log in to a remote computer and access the resources of the computer. Accessing the worldwide web most common application today is the access of the world wide web application layer this is the diagrammatic representation of application layer so the user or human or programs are passed through the application layer so the application layer have a header 7 so the messages are uh, processed in data from the application layer the user programs are 
transmitted through the presentation layer. The presentation layer again go through the session layer, transport layer, network layer, and data link layer, and finally physical layer, and it passes you to the receiver side. This similar way, receiver can receive the same way through the data. So summary of layers. The OSA model have a summary. Uh, so first one is user support layers, user networks and network support layers. The data units are divided into data, segment, packet, frame, bitch. So the layers and the functions are specified in this summary. So data means the application layer, network process to application. In the presentation layer, data representation and encryption, session, intercoast communication, transport, end-to-end -end connections and reliability, network, path determination and logical addressing. So data link it provides physical addressing. So physical layer it provides uh, media, signal and binary transmission. These layers are passed, the data are performed from sender sign. At the same time the process performed the same way it will be received from the bottom to top. In the beginning, sender side save the data from topmost to, to bottommost. Intermediate, some protocols and sublayers are present. The host to host communication will be performed in the intermediate between these layers. So, data are efficiently passed from sender to receiver using this layers task. It will be very manageable, it will be very efficient be performed in the OSA model. Thank you.